Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing about implementation of MQDT and CYP protocols. Here is the learning outcome. By the end of this session, students will be able to create MQDT broker and client to publish and subscribe to topics and receive messages. Here is the outline of this session. Uh, I'll be first, first of all taking you through uh, uh, an introduction of cloud MQDT broker. Uh, what exactly is Cloud MQDT Broker and uh, by relating it with one of the previous examples what we have seen in our earlier video and then I'll show you how to initialize a broker and it's a client uh, package by using Google's Chrome package called MQDT Lens. So it's a good moment uh, here for the students to pause and think about how uh, and think on how a client uh, communicates with another clients in the IoT scenario when whenever we are employing MQDT protocol. So uh, the solution is as we have already seen in the earlier video uh, here we have a broker a central broker uh, which is uh, surrounded by three clients as we have seen. If client A wants to sense a sort of temperature uh, then it will be sensing it and it will directly send the message to broker. So here we generally refer this particular process as client A has sensed the temperature and it has published the data to broker. So now uh, depending upon which other clients like client B and client C uh, have actually subscribed to the temperature topic will only be receiving the data. On the other hand uh, some other clients like client D uh, who are non-subscribers, I mean who didn't subscribe to the topic called temperature, won't be receiving any messages from the broker. So let's uh, have a detailed look at uh, how to initialize a broker and what are the roles of broker. So basically the role of broker is to manage uh, the protocol as well as the incoming and outgoing messages. Generally we call this message sending activity as a publish and whenever a particular client is getting some sort of message you know, whenever it subscribes to a specific topic is known as subscribing. So in this case uh, so let's have a detailed look about cloud MQDT. Cloud MQDT is uh, basically a hosted message broker for Internet of Things and as you are able to see we have a producer, broker and consumer. Like uh, in the previous slide client A was actually a message producer which was then published to the broker and broker has taken care to properly publish the data further to those clients who have the role of subscribers um, and whenever we say that a particular client has subscribed to a certain broker it happens through an ID called topic. So this is a mechanism of identifying which people or which clients in the network are actually interested to get the message that is being published. Now let's have a detailed look at how to initialize uh, MQDT broker by using uh, by browsing to the website called cloud MQDT. So here I am opening a website called cloudmqdt.com here as you can see first of all you are supposed to log in so let me quickly log in and sh I have already uh, mentioned I have already input my credentials so that I have already logged into this session now once you enter to this particular portal uh, all you are supposed to do is click on list all instances if you have already created one or if you are trying to visit this for the first time then simply you are supposed to click on create new instance I have already created it once so uh, let me show you quickly how uh, to create all these things. So you are supposed to cross these four uh, steps before uh, you begin initializing a sort of MQDT broker. Okay so as we have already logged in I have already put my credentials and I am able to log in to this cloud MQDT server and if you are trying to log into this website for the first time you are supposed to click on create new instance and uh, make sure that you have uh, given a suitable name to this like I have given the name called IOT and then select the uh, the term I mean the plan as cute cat free because this is the only plan that is available which is uh, offered free of cost on this website called cloud impurity. So I'll be going back and I'll simply click on the instance that I have already created for this session. If I click on this 
name of the instance. Once it loads, you would be able to see a couple of details which we will be using. Uh, so this is the uh, current plan that we are using, which is uh, offered free of cost by this cloud security uh, based server. Now, there are some important details that we are about to uh, watch here. That is, the server uh, address is what uh, we generally refer it as address and uh, the username and password is what we need to log into this particular broker and then uh, have an access to send messages, I mean publish and get the things done. So the four important information, uh, so the four important things that we are supposed to focus generally is the server name, uh, that is this entire taylor.cloudmcurity.com. Of course, the username and password uh, are the credentials which we would uh, try to mention in our clients. And of course, the port number is one more important thing, uh, which will make sure that no two instances are getting clashed together. So along with this, we, so with this, uh, I will open a small Chrome, Google Chrome extension uh, with the name called Impurity Lens. You can easily go to your Google Chrome web browser and install this. Once you install and open this, uh, uh, the reason why we are using this is uh, it, it, it can be easily used for publishing and subscribing to uh, certain topics which are already live. So let me uh, quickly show you how to put the details. So I'll first of all copy the address from cloud mqt server and give this a uh, proper name like test and then i'll paste that address over here now i'll copy the port address now i'll copy the port address and i need to enter username and password so simply copy paste these things and you may put it here. So what we're trying to do is currently we're trying to configure a MQTT client. So this client would be uh, connected to this MQTT cloud and cloud MQTT broker that is hosted online and uh, we are trying to use this cute cat uh, plan of its variants. Now once you do this, simply click on create connection, you should be able to see a green uh, content like this. Otherwise, um, uh, if you don't put proper details, then uh, probably it will be uh, showing uh, with the help of some red color. Now, uh, let me first of all uh, initialize a client here with a specific topic. Let it be temperature. So, I have a client who is trying to subscribe so as you can easily see, I have a topic called temperature and I have subscribed to it. Now, this particular entity, I mean the lower entity, okay, below this publish heading is nothing but what the broker generally does. So if I post some data like temperature, uh, maybe 30 degrees, and if I click on publish, then this particular subscriber will be receiving that particular information. So this is how the data is transferred from the broker if it is published with a given topic name, otherwise it can't. So on the other hand, if I type temperature one, to which nobody has subscribed, I'll be clicking on subscribe now, uh, sorry, I'll be clicking on publish now, and let us see. So that message is sent to nobody. So this is how uh, things often work in the back end with the help of uh, cloud impurity. We'll be getting into the details like uh, what are the various quality of services offered by MQTT. Here are the references used for uh, this session. Thank you.